Hey there internet crowd, Sarustic the name and Deus Ex my game and today on Deus Ex the playthrough we're going to try to rescue our Sekia's brother yeah after all he's done to kill us we feel still kind of generous and we're gonna help him um, last time we got code uh, on the info cube on the desk right here if you recall correctly and the code to the cells is 4679 four, so let's uh, use 4679 when you get caught you keep all the HP's you had before being caught which means that uh, if you were badly injured you still badly injured however if you have been killed you will um, be sent back here with half your lives but who cares there's a med bot here something a bit special this NSF he is going to help you um, to get out of the base if you ask him to you open it you talk to him and he comes with you and he gives you a med kit his only weapon is a knife and he's as strong as a um, normal in the set, which means he's really, really, really weak. You'll always have to ask him to wait for you. You can ask him to go with you or wait for you. When he goes with you and sees a target, whether it is a tank robot with an incredible armor or just uh, a simple enemy, human enemy, or just a scientist in the complex, he's going to draw his knife and try to stab it. So you'll always have to ask him to wait and do the stuff yourself. He's a pain in the ass. And if you manage to get with him out of the base, you will have a line saying, Thanks! No, I think I can handle it myself. So unless you've been doing really, really, really crap today at your job, and that, well, yeah, yeah. When you hear my voice cranking like that, it means that my mic sent me an electric shock. Okay, get used to that because it's happening a lot. So yeah, when you get him out of here, you get a thank line, and that's it. He's a pain in the ass to get out, and there's no reward. So until you've had a really bad day and you've done really bad things on on your day, like uh, screaming at your secretary at the office or uh, of beating a child or two in the street or even even killing one or two children because really that's that bad to save him do not even attempt to save him there's no point in doing that there's no freaking point in doing that don't you can open it if you feel like trading a lockpick for a multi-tool personally I prefer the lockpick. Also, the code to this area is 4089. I'm going to use the code 4089 and close the door. Because when you go back, often you do not even look and you get caught by the camera. You don't want that to happen. There's a complex, um, not sewers, but uh, I, I, I think it's ventilation shaft system under this base which allows you to go almost everywhere. There's not really anything secret in here. Uh, I guess there's a few item, hidden items in there, but nothing that big. At least I don't think so, if I'm mistaken, please correct me. Maybe I'll check at the end of the video again to see if I'm not seeing too much crap when I've done everything. Uh, I'm not going to use it because, uh, to the best of my knowledge, it doesn't bring you anything. And again, it's kind of like cheating. And guess what? Return of the Crowbar! Yeah, if you still feel like playing Half-Life 2, well, be my guest. Okay, that's how it should be set. I thought you were supposed to have a med kit at this point too, but maybe I forgot to take something. Okay, this room. This is the maintenance 
pain in the freaking ass. On the opposite side of the mage. And I'm fucking mean it. Because in this room, there's two stairs. There are three stairs, sorry. Majestic 12 are here, here, and down here. Meaning you can be caught from every stair and they're looking at each other. Meaning you always be caught. There's alarms in this room and there's killing bots in this room the same kind that were like close to Gunther the medium class so strong ones if you do not have any rockets I only have a gun you can't kill them except by using crates I don't want to trigger the alarm but worse than that even worse there's all those guys there are two technicians here and you know what happens when a non-military NPC sees you shooting at someone or hears you. You know what? I've explained it. I've shown it already. Yes, that's it. They're gonna freaking run around the place. And what's happening when a soldier sees someone running around the place? Yes. Of course, without even thinking, the soldier triggers the alarm. So this place is a freaking pain in the freaking ass! And yes, there are snipers, of course. The guy on this stair is a sniper. Personally, what I like to do is to wait until this guy... Oops, almost got surprised here. Be careful to not be spotted by this guy, while you, this guy up here while you wait here. I like to wait for this guy here to go in here. When he is in here, supposedly, no one else can see you. Okay, be careful not to be spotted by this one. Oh, fuck! I'm mistaken. There's one sniper on this floor, and there's one guy here, too. That means that we have three people to be aware of. This guy, this guy, and the one in here. Plus, the guys down here can see you, too. Plus, the technicians can set the alarm. You really are screwed in this room. You really are. Okay. And this spot you freaking fast. Faster than UNITCO and really faster than the NSF. Nope, just nerves, I guess. They are not truly stronger than the guys I, I said though. They just spot you faster. That's it. Okay, so I used my fast legs in order to uh, take less risk and outrun them. That's another use of the legs. You can use them to uh, jump from heights. You can use them to uh, jump higher to access other places. But using them when crouching allows you to walk almost like you were standing up. So you know that's also a good thing. Also, as I explained to you, you keep all the ammo you had. So I was full in shotgun. So this new kind of shotgun, which is, which has no difference in power. It's even a bit, a lot less powerful when you close. But it's an automatic fire one. Though it takes four spaces, not three. Again, you know my thoughts on uh, shotguns. I'm not gonna keep it. This guy here, you want to take him down, but you want to be careful when you take him down because he's in front of a freaking window. I think I did well. It was not the most intelligent way to do it, but I think I did well. This here is to make this platform get out. There's a bot on this platform. And there's a guy in this room too. And guess what? He's sitting in front of a freaking window. Yay. I'm not feeling like trying to find the angle to kill him. So I'll do it with the electric truncheon. Which makes everything easier. Um, go to the armory. Okay. Now... If you know how to hack in here, you have a clear advantage because you will be able you will be able to um, trigger 
the bots, at least one or two, on. You're going to make them fight, and you're going to make them fight to change their IA and to make them fight against the NSF, which basically means killing everyone around. But again, I'm not a hacker, so I'm not going to have the ability to do that. That leaves two MG12 in the room. But there still have there is still the technician, so you want to try to take the NSF without being seen and of course without being heard. Because if you shoot once the techs are going to run around like crazy. And you don't want that. Also something I never mentioned and that I've just seen right here. When um Guard is on the patrol and that he sees you, he spots you, um, and he stops because he saw you, you know, like that, and he ran around, you don't know. I'm not sure it's the good one or the bad one, because there's a bad mechanician around here and a good mechanician. I want to talk to the good, not the bad. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take the risk to, to take him down, though. Okay. I think it was the bad one, but I'm not gonna save until I'm sure of it. Yeah, when you are spotted by a guard who stops his, uh, his patrolling because uh, he, he spotted you, and when he... he th you know you hide for longer in F and uh, he, think, he says uh, oh that must be the nerd there was no one um he can when he goes back to patrolling he can go the other way than the way he was going so it may be a bit confusing get out yep. of the way this yeah, one is a good about. one trouble with the bots of course just look only one is operational and they want us to deploy i know a thing or two about bots why don't you give me the security login and I'll see what I can do? Ha! Good one. You don't exactly blend in, okay? I know that you're the one they caught, and now you're trying to escape. Oh, so you're the clever you one. The alarm. Maybe we could swing a deal, huh? You want the security login? So yeah, you can have either uh, so use the IT or get the, the security login. What about an Although the security mod. login 17. will help you to take down the Magic Stick 12. So, let me set it straight. If you want to set the bots, or you have the IT skill, or you go in the middle of the room filled by MG12, you talk to a guy standing, knowing that during the cinematics the game doesn't stop, so the guy can spot you, not shot at you, but spot you, and so just at the end of the dialogue they're going to fuck you. But you can pay for the login if you want. I wish I was but I'm going to take the accuracy augmenta though. Well, come with me and don't make me buy the stuff! Silly ass. Yeah, also... That's the other thing that uh, MG12 do not steal from you. You're going to keep your uh, money. Got money, you keep the money. Also consider that for a uh, good karmic reason, I did not kill the mech only got him down. That has no influence on the game whatsoever, but, you know, I just felt like mentioning that I'm a good guy. For now. <laughs>